has been a prison for nearly a century and a half, and it's been a target for vandals. But now, a popular landmark in Joliet has found a new purpose in its old life. Paul Mikey takes us behind the bars of the old Joliet, Joliet State Prison. It was built before Lincoln was president. Its look is medieval, intimidating. For 144 years, it was the unhappy home of many a hardened criminal. In its later years, it became a set for prison-themed TV and movie productions, including two brothers who dug the blues. She complicated. 38 years after Jake left Joliet Prison, we go in. Time has not been kind to it. In the east cell block, peeling paint hangs like stalactites. Vandals have wreaked havoc. Arsonists torched several of its two dozen buildings. Prison grounds were being swallowed by nature, but the Joliet Correctional Center, closed by the state in 2002, has never lost its power of fascination. I just think there's this allure of the forbiddenness of, you know, what is behind those walls. There's just this psychological need to kind of peer behind those walls and see what's going on. To that end, the old prison has a new calling, one in the works for many years. Next month, the Joliet Area Historical Museum will begin hosting $20 ahead walking tours of the Joliet prison. Go behind the walls and why not? Routinely, visitors from all over the world show up outside here, drawn to see this place. Every day or every weekend we're here, there's hundreds of people coming through. Again, it hasn't been open or advertised. So I think it's going to be significant. The city of Joliet last night set aside $50,000 in seed money for the prison tour effort. But what has preceded that has been thousands of hours of community donated labor and material to spruce up a piece of history that needs a lot of work. Still, the history is here, where prisoners in striped garb once walked in lockstep where some were placed in isolation. Here's that cell house today. On the floor, a painted message thinned by time. It's never too late to mend. This will be one of the stops on the tour, the original cell in the prison built in 1858. Four by four by seven, designed for two. There are many sections of the prison so beaten up that rehab may be out of reach but even some of the wreckage is being repurposed into saleable prison art. It's the old Joliet limestone. It's the stories here. It's the stuff you read online. It's the stories you hear from guards. It's, it's standing in here thinking, oh my God, what did people go through here? A century ago, who would have imagined that a tough prison would one day become a tourist attraction? Its proponents believe the tours will grow because of that allure of the forbidden. The walls have stories to tell. In Joliet, Paul Meinke, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Fascinating story. Thanks so much, Paul Meinke. Now the Joliet Area Historical Museum is hoping to launch the tours next month, along with a scheduled Inside the Walls Gala, and they're calling it the Great Joliet Prison Break-In. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside the walls of the Joliet Correctional Center. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody good? This is the start of an historic night. You people are literally the first to legally break into the prison. We had a few people break in that should have, you can see some of the damage they left behind. But thank you very much for coming out tonight. I'm Scott Slocum from WJOL Radio. It's going to be a monster night here tonight. We have four acts we have food we have beverage but most of all we have history that we are just feeling as you walk in the place hopefully you've been able to walk down through the east sally port and see the incredible uh, pictorial slides that are up there on the chain link fence we have an incredible art exhibit we have kittens that were born in this facility that i believe are up for adoption but most of all tonight we have your generosity coming out here tonight because you're here though we're going to be able to take this money put it directly back into the prison and make even more improvements. Thanks to Hawk Automotive for being one of our major sponsors here tonight. We appreciate that. Busey Bank and Darcy Buick GMC. Four acts tonight. Act number one. We have to start off with a Joliet band, right? From Joliet, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Hot Mess. It's been a hot
this one. She's a good girl, loves her mama, loves Jesus, and America too. She's a good girl, crazy about Elvis, loves horses, and a boyfriend too. It's a long Circa 85, Almost. New York Times. Here it comes. Oh my goodness. Money. No, no. No. Thank you so much. Practice. Now I'm free. Free falling. And I'm free. Free falling. I'll get an A plus yeah, for effort. Nice. However, you, you need to practice tomorrow before you go back to school on Monday. Okay. I thank Representative Larry Walsh, my friend and colleague, for that warm introduction. I'm an Illinois elected official. You're familiar with our state's history, so I gotta tell you, welcome to my home. 
hometown. Hometown. Now, I want to join the chorus of thank yous. I appreciate having this opportunity to thank everybody who had a hand in getting the site into this condition. I want to say thank you to everybody who helped organize this event and is helping to conduct this event. And I want to thank you for coming out tonight. And there's been mention made of the Collins Street Task Force, which has been operating almost 13 years. As Larry mentioned and the mayor mentioned, this facility was closed by the state in 2002. The state just walked away and allowed it to fall to ruin. In October 2005, the Collins Street Task Force was established. It's still active, it's still working. Our next project is to turn the 130 some acres on the other side of Collins Street into recreational space, as Larry mentioned, hiking trails, ball fields. And there are several stalwart members of the Collins Street Task Force up here, and I'd like them to step forward so you can meet them. Hillary Dank from Congressman Bill Foster's office. Will County Board Member Denise Winfrey. Former Collins Street Task Force Member and Joliet City Manager Jim Hawk. The one and only Greg Pierbolt. The feminine version of the one and only Councilwoman Betty Gavin. And somewhere in this throng, somewhere in this throng, is one of the co-founders of the Collins Street Task Force. Last thing I'm going to say, please, give it up. A.J. Wilhelmy is in the house. Thank you, Senator McGuire. All right, MNR Rush is coming up next. But before we do that, we have what's called a ribbon cutting. Now, somebody forgot the big scissors, and this is way too big to put a ribbon across. So, Mayor, come on up. We instead are going to do a toast to the Joliet Correctional Facility and the College Street Prison. So, everybody, please get up, stand up, come on, stand up. We're doing a toast. Thank you. We're going to do a toast instead of a ribbon cutting. So, everybody up. The mayor's going to lead us in a toast to the opening of the Joliet Correctional Facility. Mayor Odekirk. Yeah, it's hard to do a ribbon cutting without a ribbon. So, everyone raise your glasses. This is to the reopening of the Joliet Prison. Everybody drink. Ready? Go. He forgot that part because he had water. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thanks to everybody up here on the stage. Awesome job. Coming up next, it's m &R Rush and then the Blues Brothers. Enjoy your night. Go see North Sac. Go see the East Cell Block. Go see the incredible artwork done by the prison. Or done by the, uh, from artic artifacts found in the prison. Thanks to the food trucks. Thanks to the volunteers. Thank you for coming. m &R Rush is right now. <laughs>
and roll. How about it? We are Ebon Al Rush. Yes, the same Ebon Al Rush you've always loved and known for many years, way back from 1972. All the same original members right up here. Thank you. Oh, 
one more tune for you um, and, but we want to thank a few people we want to thank the Historical Society of Joliet let's have a hand for them we would personally like to say thanks to Mike Brick who we were supposed to be on the, uh, the Joliet Historical Museum top tonight rooftop, rooftop and he said hey you guys want to come over and play in a prison and we said, what the heck are you talking about, Mike? But we're here. And thank you for all you coming tonight. We really appreciate it. Thanks to Mayor Bob. Mayor Bob. And he was the drummer in the first uh, band. Let's have a hand for Mayor Bob. There you go, there you go. So hey, we're doing a little little uh, change around here. We were going to play a little longer, but they were asked that we should just do one more tune. Is that OK, one more tune? Baby, I'm not 
my hand on. All right, everybody get their hand and glasses on. Ah, that's much better. Hey, is it is it humid enough out here for us tonight, huh? But I'll tell you what, what a beautiful evening to be here, the old Joliet prison. Who would have ever thought that we were going to play here and have so much fun? Fantastic. All right, first of all, let's give it up for the bands that we've already had on. Friends Hot Mess, Petty Cash, M and R Rush. How about that? Yeah. I was I was lucky enough to have them on the radio show on Star 967 last week. Great bunch of guys, but now we are at what you've been waiting for. Look at this. Here we are. Do you see the moon up there by the way? Take a look at that right up here. See that? That unbelievable. It, it is, yeah, no kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much to, uh, first of all, thank your volunteers, all the volunteers here, the Joliet Area Historical Society, and uh, our friends that are all here tonight, and you couldn't ask for a nicer night to be out here. Okay, maybe it could have been a little less humid, but so what? These guys are a Chicago institution playing in a Chicago institution. We've let them in, they may not leave. Established 1993, and I know there's a big story coming up, so I'm not going to give it to you, but get ready for that. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Blues Brothers Band!
somebody John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd put on a couple of black suits, hats, and glasses and along with a great band like this the cameras were turned on and you saw and heard a song that sounded like this
be mad, baby. Lean on me Just like this. when the times are bad. I'm going to tell you a story right here. While we take a little breather, have a drink, I'm going to tell you a story. Back in the early 90s, when I first started this band, this prison was still open. I picked up the phone and I called the warden here. I introduced myself, said I had a Blues Brothers tribute. And tomorrow, we were going to be in front of the prison with the Bluesmobile and the band. And we're going to shoot some publicity pictures with the prison walls in the background. I'm thinking he's gonna say, fantastic, and he says, absolutely not. It's a breach of security. So I hang up the phone, and I look at the band, and I say, yeah, everything's good. So, this is a true story. The next day, Right in front of the main gate where you all walked in, the next day we rolled up with the Bluesmobile, the band jumped out, the photographer started shooting, the prison walls were in the background, the guys on the guard towers with the machine guns started screaming at us, and all of a sudden I hear, Wah. Honest to God, the gates opened up and all these security vehicles came out and surrounded us. True story. This is. I'm telling you, this really happened. I He's can, not lying about this. I can. I can tell this story now. I can tell it now because we're not in jail. Honest to God, we we almost went to jail. They let us go because they said if you give us the film, we'll let you go. So the photographer handed him the film. I know, right? We got about a mile away, and I I got the band together, and the photographer, and I apologized, and the photographer put out his hand and he said, I switched the film, I gave him a blank, here you go. So we're gonna dedicate this next song to the warden and all the ex-inmates here at Joliet State. One, two, a one, two, three.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you during this next song, please do not throw your beer bottles and glasses at the stage. Stop, bro. 